Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jael and I'm back at it with another video. And today I'm basically just gonna go over um, a Walla Cut uh, heat transfer vinyl, uh, puff vinyl that is. Uh, so first things first, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your heat press, you're gonna need your vinyl cutter, um, and your 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 vinyl, which you can purchase uh, over at um, Heat Transfer Warehouse. Yeah, yeah, he, it was Heat Transfer Warehouse. Um, they have it's the Walla Cut Puff vinyl. So um, I'm not gonna go over showing you how to uh, you know personally cut the vinyl and the software and everything because I mean it's not this video is not really for beginners it's kind of just an overview to show you the the puff vinyl so anyway let's get started oh well, one quick tip on the uh heat transfer vinyl so i don't know if you can see but when you're laying it on the mat there's a shiny side let's see if i can get it there's a shiny side and then there's a matte side i don't know if you can tell this one's shiny See, it's reflective. This is matte. So make sure you put the matte down, uh, the matte side down. That way you have it correct. All right, next part is just gonna be pressing up on a shirt. Um, so I have my maroon shirt loaded up. Give it a quick pre-press. about like five seconds I have my heat at 305 which is good enough Give it another few all right so then now we're just gonna go ahead and take our heat transfer puff we're gonna place it I'm gonna do uh, four fingers down from the collar so you can see right here, four fingers down, right in the center. We're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna place this. What I like to do to get the center is just fold it in half where the letters meet. Boom, should be centered. That should be four fingers down. Looks centered to me. And then we're gonna be ready to press this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and press it. I press it at uh, 305 on my heat press, um, which is equivalent to like, I think 310, 315, somewhere around there. So that's what we're pressing this uh, wallet cut at. Um, and also I'm doing a um, 20 second press, but you it's anywhere from like 15 to, uh, to 20 seconds. So depending on your press and I'm doing more of a, light medium pressure somewhere around there so anyway let's uh go ahead and do this and if you're wondering what heat press i'm using i'm using the heat press nation uh craft pro 15 by 15 um it's been yeah it's been wonderful i love it, it has a slide out drawer it's useful so anyway All right, let's take a look at the magic happening already. The raising, look at that. Woo, that's beautiful. Peel it, it's a hot peel. Oh, well, something went wrong with this puff. Not sure what, but it's not supposed to look that bad. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you. How the puff looks it's weirdly textured and i'm not sure why i might have to go back and uh maybe change my settings maybe press it for less time um or maybe more pressure but anyway that's what the puff is um i think it's great stuff but it didn't come out right this time but I like to show my mistakes because no one is perfect and you're always going to get, you know, uh, 
things like this happening. Nothing goes right all the time. But yeah, check this out. I mean, I'll redo it. No biggie. So I ended up like correcting the issue that was going on with my heat press. I just cranked the heat down a little bit more and just stuck to the 10 seconds. And then it, it worked uh, perfectly fine with the with, with, with the vinyl. And yeah, I got a, a great uh, result. But I just, uh, I wanted to show everybody that, you know, we we all go through trials and errors with everything and it's not my first time working with this uh wall of cut puff um yeah it just it was this is the first time it ever gave me an issue it was weird but of course i had to be on camera right but <laughs> so yeah um i do recommend uh that that puff final the wall of cut puff and i also recommend uh the econo transfer puff which is actually better than the wall of cut puff but I just didn't have any today, so I was like, ah, I'll just use up my Wallet Cup Puff. So, yeah, I also have a, I think, black uh, vinyl, Puff vinyl. Maybe I'll do a, a quick video on that if uh, all of you are interested in seeing one. Well, um, yeah, so w w we'll see. Anyway, everybody, you guys have a good one. I'll keep posting, keeping you updated, you know, through, put the comments down below. Um, so yeah, peace everybody.